Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a particle bullet time effect by animating the simulation timescale. Let's quickly create a particle simulation by adding a basic emitter, setting the shape to be a sphere, and emitting a shot of a hundred thousand particles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edit and bring up my scene settings. And in the simulation tab and scene sub tab, not particles, we have the time scale. And uh, when we have a time scale of one, then time progresses normally. Now let's make it a bit more interesting by adding a turbulence, changing a few parameters here. And uh, that looks a bit more interesting. And let's tell the basic emitter to set the particle life to let's say 80 with a spread of 60 and quickly go and increase this to 150 frames. Let's go back to our project settings. Now rewind, press play, and you will see this is my animation and everything is going to fade out. Fantastic. Let's go and change the speed now. If I set the time scale to 0.1 and press play, you will see that everything happens slow. Let's rewind, but if I set it to 10, everything happens fast. So by animating this parameter, you can create that bullet time effect. So let's quickly do that. I'm going to go and set a normal speed of 1 for the beginning, advance a few frames, and then let's go and make this 10, and let's add another keyframe. Bring up your timeline, select this and go to F curves, and let's select all the points and make them linear. From this point onwards, I can start animating this any way I want. I can go faster, I can go slower, I can change this value to 0.2, rewind, press play, and it will go slower. Then I can add another keyframe here and another keyframe here. I can then make it faster, more keyframes, then slower, then faster, then slower. I'm pressing control and on the black line to create new keyframes. Rewind, press play, and this way you can change the way the time scale animates your simulation, causing it to go slower or faster. There are some alternative methods when you catch your particle simulation, but that is a subject for another quick tip. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.